Ever since the limited success of David Bowie's last album, Tin Machine, the world has been holding its breath for the follow-up. Tin Machine is Bowie's latest experiment in Back to Basics. Strictly speaking, he's just one of the boys in a band, a four-piece lineup. According to Bowie, the new record lacks some of the urgency of Tin Machine One, and tracks like Shopping for Girls have a bigger horizon to them, sonically. We trace the band to a very sweaty rehearsal room. <laughs> The first album was the aggression of, 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 of uh, uh, four guys kind of confronting each other with their musical ideas and everybody trying to get in and say their piece and being a little bit ill at ease with this very new situation. So ill at ease, Under the God didn't even make the top 50. Uh, it has an endearing quality to, to that desperateness. I, th I guess it, it now it has the same energy but it's a, a little more focused in, in, in as much that we've been able to talk our lives through with each other more and so there are certain shared experiences that go into the making of the second album that weren't necessarily there on the first one. Shared experience is what it seems to be all about for Bowie, like being in a very small band in a very hot room, living the life of the road. We did a tour, we did maybe 20 dates, so we got a chance to play together and ride on the bus together and, and all that stuff and we actually learned more about each other's musical likes and dislikes bad and, and bad sleeping habits and, and bad, you know personal grooming things like that and that when we came to to record to start recording the second album I think that there was a there was a level of musical communication like unspoken communication just intuitive stuff that was higher still than what we had on the on the first record intuitive unspoken communication at its very best <laughs> Next, we asked them about their women folk back home and got the impression that Hunt Sales has more in his hat than just his head. Obviously, they are used to our, the, whatever, life, you know, our lifestyle, which is uh, home and then not home and home and then, you know, you can be home and not home. You know what I mean? I mean, in town, if we're working or rehearsing, shit, we're, I'm with David and Reeves and Tony more than I am with, you know, my family. This, you know, so. I mean, I think What are you doing for dinner later, <laughs> sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> but David's just remembered a pressing date, probably with his new girlfriend, supermodel Iman, best known for a certain liqueur commercial. What else can you do? I mean, it's like having a husband who's a sailor or something. I mean, the ship goes out and he's going to be out for a few months at a time. But there again, on the last tour, they came into the tour quite often. Yeah. You know. But it must be harder for you because you're in a new relationship. Yeah. Doesn't that make you quite, oh, I don't want to be here. I want to not be. apprehensive. In, only, uh, not apprehensive. You know, it's kind of uh, always hard to kind of go away, you know. But it's probably be coming in and out. Tin Machine may be fun while it lasts, but how long will that be? Bowie's changed his image so often. It's a long way from Ziggy Stardust and quite a distance from the Thin White Duke. My little China girl. This is a question not for David, but for any of the others. What are the advantages and disadvantages of having David Bowie in your band? David? <laughs> the advantages and disadvantages? Yeah. Well, the advantages certainly are that he's uh, extremely talented. He you knows know. where the best restaurants are. That's right. I mean, he's, you know, he's, he's a great lyricist, great singer. I, it's, it's like it's, the Friday Club. He's, he's uh, fun to work with, you know. Uh, the disadvantages are that the band might not be... Um, looked at for the band on its own merits because people are still looking to see if it's another David Bowie record. Do you remember the laughing gnome? Sweet. Well, that's about it for today.